Hey there, it's Carrie Rhodes here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is episode two of my April Stamp Set of the Month series. This month I am featuring the Lawn Fawn Stamp Set, Tiny Friends. This stamp set is so fun because it can go with so many of the other Lawn Fawn products already available. And I'm pairing it with the Build a House die set today, making a little country scene. It's gonna be super cute. And I also wanna make sure that you know about the giveaway. So Lawn Fawn is sponsoring this month's series, yay! And they have generously offered a $25 shopping spree for me to give to one of you. All you need to do is comment on all four of the episodes in this month's series. At the end of the month, I will draw out a name and they will be announced on the first Monday in May on my community tab here on YouTube. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in and start creating this slimline country scene. Uh, when I say jump in, I totally mean it because I already stenciled on some clouds with some tumbled glass distress oxide ink and then I used my slimline forest border to die cut from green cardstock a cute little border for my scene next i'm using the slimline grassy hillside borders i'm going to die cut two to create some depth and dimension on this card with a lighter green cardstock and i'm just going to use my forest panel as a guide so i know where to cut out the grass because i want it to be slightly in front of the trees so you know that was a technical way to do it right there <laughs> I'm going to tape that in place and run it through my dye machine and then I have a grassy border that follows the same line. I love that. That can go in front of my trees and then I'm going to use the bottom half of this cardstock to die cut my second row of grass and then I will have lots of dimension going on on my card. I just think having layers really adds to a card. Next, I'm using my stitched mountain borders. I die cut two of them, well, one of each of these borders from some gray cardstock, and then I'm gonna have them go behind my trees. So I just need to kind of lay them behind there and see how that's gonna look. I am gonna have to overlap them, and then once I figure it out how I like them, I can glue them in place, and that will give me another layer and adding even more to my scene. Now the reason why I wanted to do a mountainous woodland forest scene for today's card is because my youngest daughter really wants to live in a cottage in the forest. So I thought I would try to kind of create a scene like that because it sounds quite idyllic and lovely to me. So I have my mountains glued in place. I'll have a little bit to trim off there and then where they overlap there's kind of a funny little edge. I thought maybe my house was going to cover it up, but I actually ended up having to trim that. I think I did it off camera, but I wanted to mention it that you could just trim that and give it kind of a nice smooth edge. So there's the snow cap pieces that come in this die set that I added to each of those mountains. And now I'm bringing in my mushroom border. Um, so my daughter also loves mushrooms. Now I know these mushrooms are not going to be exactly to scale in my card but they do add a pop of color and a really fun touch to the scene and it means a lot to her so I had to add it I also love mushrooms so I think it's really fun that she loves them too she has them kind of in her room decor and a necklace and you may have seen the little tray that she made me to put um my like die cut images in in previous videos so we love them now I have a mixture here of red and brown mushrooms so I have one border die cut as it is and I alternated the red and brown and then I'll glue that right to the hill on behind the hill of this grassy border but it just didn't it's not going to fit my card exactly. Also, right here when I'm trimming it off, I cut off a little bit of the green. So um, I'm going to have to go back and fix that later as well. With my paper cutter, I just trimmed the whole thing. But you can see here, it slopes down and doesn't quite cover up all of that gap between my layers. So what I did is I'm going to snip this in two and I'm going to have an opening in the middle. And yeah, it kind of bothers me knowing that it's there but that's where the house is going to go so it's really not that big of a deal if there's a gap there it's not going to show so now I am going to take the other mushroom border and I'm going to snip it apart and hand glue the mushrooms behind my little grass there because this one dips down and the grass 
or the mushroom border is a hill. So they don't quite match. So I thought I'll just snip them apart and then I can keep part of the base and that is the part I can add the glue to. So it worked out really well and I loved being able to create my own kind of border with them. I think they're so adorable. So I can glue that now down to the rest of my layers and you'll see there, there will be that gap there in the middle and that's right where the house is going to be. So it'll be covered up. It'll be totally fine. Speaking of the house, I'm using the Build a House die set and the new spring add-on for today's card. And I actually did bring in the door from the gingerbread house add-on because I wanted a real cottage-like feel. So having that rounded door went with my rounded windows the, with the shutters. Aren't they cute? <laughs> So now I have my fence, a bird bath, some flowers. I don't end up using the stairs to the house, but I wanted to add some texture to the cottage. So I brought in this, um, it's brick. It's a brick stencil and I'm using vintage photo distress ink and just going over the edges. I wanted to keep this really light. It actually came out just a tiny bit darker than I really wanted it to, but I really love the added look of the brick. So the kind of cottage that my daughter would like would be something that does look pretty vintage and um, well lived in, like with ivy growing on it and a very rustic looking. So um, I feel like this goes right along with what her vision is. And there you can see the house all stenciled up. It looks really cute. I am also using some of my vintage photo to add a little ink onto the brown pieces. I felt like that also gave them a little bit of a distressed look. So I'm gonna put the house together now. I have this greatly sped up and you can see that I'm using some foam squares and glue to add these pieces in, mostly glue. I like that larger second roof piece to be popped up with foam squares. So I have made a ton of houses with this die set. It actually was one of my stamp set of the month, even though it's a die. I did a die set of the month when this came out because I love it so much. I don't know what it is, but I think it's so adorable. So um, if you're interested in that, I'm going to link my Lawn Fawn playlist at the end of this video and you can go check out those videos. I did some really cute Halloween things where I made treat boxes with this die really cute. I love that there's a Halloween add-on for this. There's also the gingerbread add-on, super cute, a Christmas add-on that you can add like Christmas lights to it. Yeah, it's really fun. I love it. So this one's getting some white around those shutters. I just felt like I needed to brighten it up a tiny bit. And then a little window box here. And I put two layers of cardstock behind my flower box because the window is two layers. So I wanted it to be even when I popped it up there. So here's my tiny friends stamp set. Finally, I'm going to stamp four people from this set. I also stamped the cat from the tiny Halloween friends and I have the dog that's from the tiny Christmas and then the frog is from like tiny magical friends. I don't remember the exact names of those sets but I'm gonna have them all linked for you in the description box below so you can check that out and now all four of these people are people in my family. This one right here is my daughter who wants to live in the cottage. The second girl is my oldest daughter and then the two on the end are gonna be me and my husband when we're older coming to visit her in her cottage in the woods. <laughs> so I'm just gonna color these out very simply. I really, I don't think I did any two color blends. I used one color on all the things because they're so, so tiny. So you can do two if you wanted, but it's just, they're such small images that it's not super necessary. You don't have to, you can color these very easily. And since this is in the future, I thought it would be funny to give me and my husband some gray hair, which, you know, is not too far off, let's be honest. So there's all the people. And then I have the pets, which is going to be a tabby cat and a tan colored dog to kind of look like our dog we have right now. And then, of course, a pet frog, because that is my daughter's other favorite thing besides mushrooms and cottages in the woods is frogs. So I had to have him. <laughs> and there's all the Copic markers that I used to color today's images. And now it is time to die cut out all the things. I 
love that there's a die for all of the tiny friends. You do kind of have to like really look at them to figure out which die goes with which person, but I love that there's a die for each of them. So now we can start assembling this card first by gluing on my mountainous layered panel to my cloudy sky panel. And then we need to figure out what to do with the window. I want there to be something for the recipient to look at when the window is opened. So I glued a piece of cardstock behind, opened the shutters, and I thought the pet frog could sit right inside there as a little surprise. And then the other surprise is going to be that my other daughter, my oldest daughter, is also visiting the cabin or no cottage in the forest and so that could be a surprise for mom and dad when we come to visit that we get to visit both of our girls they're both there I thought some uh, fence pieces on the end would kind of make it look like this is her like little piece of land and you know you come right into it and then I'm going to add all my little friends so my daughter is going to be waving to us on the outside the pets are going to be joining her and then surprise my other daughters on the inside of the house so I have my happy village stamp set and I'm going to stamp home is where the heart is with VersaFine Onyx black ink in the upper right corner like right on my finished card it's the scariest thing <laughs> like if you mess this up yeah I guess you could stamp it on another panel and stick it down but it just fit in there then I wanted to add some birds also from this stamp set in and around the mountains to finish off the scene I feel like that little touch really helps complete the look of this card. So this panel is actually nine inches by four inches, which is pretty much the largest sized slimline card you can make and still have it fit into a business size envelope. And that's so the house can fit on it. And then my front of my card had so many layers that I added another layer on the inside to make it more balanced and more sturdy on the inside. And the bird bath just, felt too busy on the outside of the card so I thought I would stick it on the inside and that finishes up today's card for episode two of my tiny friends stamp set of the month remember there is a amazing giveaway from Lawn Fawn for a $25 shopping spree to their shop so if you're interested in that please leave a comment on this video as well as episode number one. I'm going to have that linked for you below in case you didn't see that one yet. And then I will be back again next Tuesday and the following Tuesday for episodes three and four at 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So tune in and let me know what you think of today's card. Thanks so much for watching and happy stamping. Bye.